Hi guys and welcome to a new episode. Today we are here for another knife review but probably not the review that you were expecting because initially I was supposed to review this knife today. Um, I asked you guys on Instagram what knife you wanted me to review next because I couldn't make my mind between these three and uh, the majority of you were very intrigued by this uh, uh, we can't see it for the moment anyway by the zeppelin <laughs> that is on the right um i'm very sorry but i'm just gonna delay this review for the moment because i'm leaving uh for italy in a few hours and um, i'm just not gonna have time to make the full review on this knife because i have so many things to say about this knife and most importantly, I'm not going to have time to edit the video because again, it's going to be very long. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I would make a quick review uh, today because I'm trying to to release uh, one video a week. But uh, yeah, so this one will be very quick, the review of this knife. Uh, so I do apologize about that, uh, but just be a bit patient, This uh, the review of this knife is coming very soon, don't worry. By the way, I'm going to Italy for the knife show in Milano. I'm going to bring my camera with me and I'm going to try and shoot some videos. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested to see uh, a video of a knife show, something a bit different than usual. Uh, yeah, and I'll see if I've got enough images, enough videos, enough content to make a great video. Also, don't hesitate to join me on my Instagram account, Still Arts. I just think it's a very cool way to interact with you guys, and uh, I'm definitely going to try and interact more with you. I love uh, re replying to all your comments, whether it's on Instagram or on YouTube. So yeah, let's get into the review right now. Let me just adjust that. Now it's perfect. This knife was made by Mario Pediu, an Italian knife maker. I'm actually gonna see him this weekend at the Milano Knife Show. Really looking forward to see his new creations. He's uh, a Sardinian knife maker and therefore very influenced by the Sardinian tradition. He also makes uh, very traditional Sardinian knives. But besides, he also tries to make very modern knives and uh, nowadays he focuses on these uh, interframe style knives that I just think look gorgeous. Let's open the blade so that you can see the overall design and that is how it looks like. Hello! <laughs> you can see me in the reflection but it's actually not uh, a mirror polish it's a hand rubbed satin finish, but that is so fine that it's almost mirror polished. Very shiny finish there on a hollow grind. I believe the steel is RWL34. You have three little pins there that I believe again are uh, white gold. This just allows you to open the, the blade very easily because when the knife is closed, you don't have very much blade coming out and you have this uh, beautiful swedge there that can make it a bit difficult to open. But this knife is so smooth. I mean, the, the, the spring, it's a lock back and the spring is so um, soft. You could even open it with one hand. Now. It's not uh, the purpose, but yeah, you, you could open it with one hand if you really wanted to. You could close it with one hand too, just like that. Um, so yeah, beautiful blade with a nice hollow grind and a very nice swedge. Very aggressive looking blade. Now, coming to the handle, let's have a closer look to these inlays that we talked about earlier. So, seven inlays on each side. And uh, these are made of carbon fiber. Beautifully made. Uh, you can feel any gap at all. You can feel the difference in the material. 
but honestly this thing is perfectly flat and uh, you can't feel anything very nicely done I think it uh, gives a very modern look to the to the knife and uh, like the way that uh, the inlay continues on the other side of the pivot uh, yeah <laughs> very nice by the way custom pivot now the whole knife is a uh, hand rubbed satin finish the handle too but it also has this uh, shiny effect to it but the custom pivot is uh, it has a kind of pearlash finish you see which I think is very nice it makes it stand out a little bit more but also very flat and uh, you can't feel the gap at all so this knife is very flat which I really like uh, very fine because uh, of the flatness I would say it's flat but also has some 3D effects I would say like these uh, contouring which are hollow and uh, just gives a little bit of dimension to the to the knife that would be really a bit too flat if it wasn't there so nice contouring on this side and a bit of contouring too on the top there very nicely done I like also the way that the the button for the the back lock is done because you don't have a huge cut in the handle it doesn't waste the overall design of the knife it's very discreet you can hardly tell it's there very well integrated but it's not too difficult to open because he did this uh, these cuts in the back of the handle just so that you can really push through it very easily so yeah really like that attention to detail in the inside it's signed Mario Pediu very clean uh, in the inside nothing uh, special just clean well finished very uh, simple but really cool as it's very fine it can fit in a suit for example and if someone is looking for a, a classy knife but still with a modern look this is the perfect knife for him aggressive design but not scary um, classy but not too traditional uh, with a modern look I just think he got the design really right on this one so guys that's it for this review blade centering perfect well I hope you enjoyed the video hope you like the knife let me know in the comments below what you think about the knife if you like it or not if you don't like it it's perfectly fine I think it's always interesting to to have the different point of views it's always a pleasure to read your comments and to answer you so yeah don't hesitate if you have any questions too and uh, as always guys i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching bye bye